This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Actually, you know, 2K, they went ahead and dropped some fire today. I must admit this new promo, it looks pretty lit. Now, of course, the promo I'm talking about is the Season Elite, and they dropped this new diamond slash mostly amethyst set with a set reward of Anthony Davis that'll probably be impossible to get because there's like six new diamonds. Now, I know some people are upset because guys like Kristaps, Demarcus, and Anthony Davis, they already have diamonds, so that doesn't really make sense. But like, look at this Kemba Walker card. A plus is across the board shoot. Shooting. Unfortunately, no Hall of Fame badges, but honestly, he looks super sick. Will probably be one of the cheaper ones in the set. This Joel Embiid honestly looks like a must-have. I mean, look at this. Dreamlike Up and Under and Drop Step are two really good big man badges at the Hall of Fame level. And of course, he can shoot. I mean, 90 open shot three. Wishes ball control and speed was a bit higher, but uh, yeah, this is a really good inside-outside threat big man. And speaking of inside-outside threat, you're probably not going to get much better than Jokic. Now, I will admit, I don't really need dimer and flashy passer for a big man i mean it's kind of cool but like it's not very useful but again he can shoot so 95 3 bruh this drummond he looks cool what are his badges here uh obviously he's mostly defensive bruiser hustle rebounder like kemba he'll probably be a little bit on the cheaper side but the card that to me looks like the best is andrew wiggins 99 defensive holy cow and he's got hall of fame posterizer i mean that's all i really need out of a card and shooting wise really nice he's got some unfortunate cold zones but uh card looks sick defensively wow and that posterizer wow now the card that's gonna sell for the most obviously is Kristaps Porzingis kind of sucks for people that uh for people that spend all their money on that all-star one and again Demarcus Cousins I don't really like I mean I don't know I really like that Demarcus that I used a few videos back the diamond one but is this one really gonna be worth the upgrade like I kind of doubt it like I, I don't really know why they made this a card like what about Carl Anthony Towns but anyways I guess we'll just get into these boxes i'm only gonna open one because like you know i don't like opening packs but yeah let me know what you guys think of these new cards like i said the cards do look sick i don't know why they doubled up on some of those diamonds like demarcus but uh some of the new ones i'm really hyped about Jokic and wiggins especially but this does give us some time to talk about the nba playoffs which gets started friday or Saturday. I know the Cavs series starts Saturday. I think that might be the first day. Honestly, <laughs> there's some good matchups. Now for my money, Golden State's gonna walk over Portland. Like Portland's so good. CJ and Damian are so good, but they're not very good defensively, which makes them not a good matchup for the Warriors. So like, it's kind of a GG. Clippers, Utah, that, that's interesting, man. Utah is like the upstart team this year. So good. They've been awesome, but LA's playing their best ball of the season right now, which is obviously a good sign for them. So I don't know. I'd probably still take Utah in that series, actually. Well, no, I'd take the Clippers. Houston, OKC, man, look, boy, look, that's going to be like the best series. Like, you know it. You know that's going to be the best series. I definitely have Houston winning in probably five, but like, there's going to be a lot of good moments, a lot of good highlights, and two Willie Cauley Steins already. San Antonio, Memphis has the final Western Conference series. Do they play in the first round like every single year? Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Boy, if you don't get please let it be Kristaps. If it's Kristaps, I never have to open packs again the rest of this year. I'm telling you, if you stop opening packs for a while, if you take some time off, 2K, they want me to get back in packs. They want me to start opening packs again. Oh my goodness, who's it gonna be? Like, I can't even watch. Like, but what I got you need to know about it. Tell me I'm Dang it, man. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Oh, Drummond's easily the worst. Probably gonna sell for the least amount. But, uh, you know what? A diamond's a diamond. Life's kind of crazy. I'll take it. But anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that diamond. San Antonio, Memphis, they play, like, every single year. And I, I don't know. I'm taking San Memphis, like, Marcus Gasol's cool. Mike Conley, is he even playing? I don't even know. Nah. San Antonio's got that series. Easy. And honestly, for my... Oh, topper, topper, topper. Yeah. Now, the East, honestly, might be some better series than the West. Like, Boston, Chicago. Chicago's been a mess all year, and they're the eighth seed, but they made the playoffs. That's all that matters. I kind of hate on the Celtics a lot, but Chicago might give them a run for their money. I'm going to take Boston, but probably in, like, six games, to be honest. Washington and the Hawks. You know what? That's easily the Wizards. The Hawks were good, like, two years ago when they won 60 games, but this is the Wizards' time. The Wizards are real good. I, I like the Wizards. Now, Toronto-Milwaukee might just be the best series of the first round, along with Houston 
in OKC because Milwaukee's real good. They just got Chris Middleton back. I thought I heard that Jabari Parker might be out, which would be a big hit, but like the way Giannis is playing and they got some, you know, they got some veterans, Del Vadova, Monroe, like I think Toronto could be in trouble in that series. And of course, Cleveland, Indiana. I tweeted last night that I didn't realize Cleveland was playing Indiana and that it's like the best possible matchup for them. And I truly believe that. I mean, LeBron's had Paul George's number since he entered the league. Like, Paul George will put up his numbers. He dropped 42 a couple days ago against the Cavs, but, like, they're just not a very complete team. They don't have a lot of interior presence other than Miles Turner. Like, nah, that, that's gonna be Cavs. Pro I'd be surprised if it wasn't a sweep. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on the first round. I think that the Eastern Conference, it's starting to come around. Like, everybody always says the West is so much better, but, in my opinion, the East, they got some studs this year. They got some interesting series. Um, I still think it's gonna be the Cavs. Abs, but like Boston, Washington, even Milwaukee. I mean, yeah, even Milwaukee, like any of these teams could give them a run for their money. I guess the Raptors too, if Kyle and DeMar actually play good. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on the first round down in the comments section. If this is a Willie Cauley Stein, like bro. <laughs> oh my good. I just got four Willie Cauley's. Wow, okay then. So we did end up pulling a diamond, and of course, it's like the worst one. I didn't even look at Andre Drummond's stats earlier. Like, I can't complain. He does look obviously like a decent card. Good post hook, good layup abilities. Obviously can't shoot, but he's gonna be an athletic, rebounding, defensive monster. That being said, he's not even selling for 100K yet. Gosh, dang it, man. Um, I mean, I guess he might. I I'm throwing him up on the auction block right away. So hopefully he sells for a little bit over 100K. That would be really nice. Guys, I'm feeling tempted. I'm really feeling tempted. 12 seconds later. I remember when I moved in you. The holy dark was How come you don't want me, man? I really have no explanation as to why I did this. I like I didn't think it would be a good idea, but like you're stupid. I was literally like 110% sure I wouldn't pull another diamond in that box. So I have no idea why I went ahead and bought one. But I did pull a diamond, so you gotta slap the thumbs up button for that. Andre Drummond. Hopefully he sells for like 150 KMT at the least. That would really give me some nice juicy MT totals so I could afford maybe more than one of these new players. But let me know who you'd like to see a video with. I'm thinking Andrew Wiggins. Gotta show love to my boy from Canada. As always guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you slap the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all your guys' support recently. It's been unreal. I'm out till next time guys. Probably don't open these packs. Peace.